As we anticipate that cold weather next week, the threat of frozen pipes increases. After last year's winter storm, Elliot left many homes in Knoxville without water. WATE 6 On Your Side reporter Naomi Hilmer spoke with a plumber today to learn about the precautions you should take to keep your pipes from freezing this winter. Last winter, plumber Keith White saw hundreds of frozen pipes in the aftermath of winter storm Elliot. There was a lot um, during that period of time right after Christmas last year. But according to White, there is not much a plumber can do for a pipe that has been frozen, but they can fix them if they burst. He says the best line of defense against a frozen pipe is insulation. If they're in a crawl space that's uninsulated, um, if even inside of basement areas that aren't well insulated, um, even inside of walls that aren't well insulated, it can lead to frozen pipes. And while you can insulate your walls, you can also warm your pipes with heat tape or pipe insulation. White also says a telltale sign of a frozen pipe is the lack of running water. And even if it only stops working in one faucet to shut the water off completely. Once that happens, the, the best thing to actually do is to turn off the water to the rest of the home. You shut that off and then you try to turn it back on when the temperatures have thawed back out. Uh, when you can actually go through and inspect your home to make sure that when you turn it back on, you don't hear running water inside of walls or crawl spaces or areas that it shouldn't be, um, and be able to help prevent any kind of damage that can happen from burst pipes. And if you can't insulate pipes that may be running through an exterior wall, like many kitchen or bathroom sinks are, it is best to let it drip. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit of movement helps to prevent that from freezing. So you can imagine, you know, running water freezes uh, a lot less than stagnant water. So if it's uh, if you can have that running, then that definitely helps um, to prevent that from freezing. He also said it is best to leave the faucet between the hot and cold setting, as leaving it only on one or the other could still lead to a frozen pipe. In Knoxville, Naomi Hilmer, WATE, six on your side.